So you might have seen the news story about my tweet regarding Ben Shapiro and his love of AR-15s. Big round of applause for the clever detectives who pointed out that technically, a few ranchers and animal control people did own these guns before 2004. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for them. Hello, and welcome back to my six-year-long embolism. So today we have former Fox News host Gretchen Carlson, who's got herself a little attention after responding to a video that Ben Shapiro made declaring that we would not give up our AR-15, something she clearly shouldn't have done because she has no idea what she's talking about. Ordinary people didn't have AR-15s before 2004, they're not some time-honored American tradition. They're a recent mistake that we could fix and save thousands of lives in the process. <laughs> Literally everything you just said is wrong. Gretchen Carlson would have done even the most basic of research. She would have found that yes, AR-15s are in fact an American tradition going back more than a half a century as even NPR points out. In fact, millions of Americans have owned AR-15s, the vast, vast majority of which have never been involved in any crimes. And I'll just never get tired of how these people talk about AR-15s as if they're sentient beings. Now, yearly, there are around 400 homicides done with rifles. And that's all types of rifles, not just AR-15s. There are around 330 million people in America. So just do the math. And when it comes to gun deaths, most are suicides and they're done with handguns. When it comes to gun violence and mass shootings, most of it comes from gangs and very localized areas. And they're mostly using illegal handguns. What continues to blow me away is how often these so-called journalists are so wrong on this topic. You would have thought that by now, they'd have done some research and learned something. But instead, they seem to choose to remain ignorant and just repeat state talking points. That alone should tell you something. So after the users and community notes gave Gretchen Carlson a proper ratioing, you would have thought that she would have shut up and at least read something before coming back for more, but no. So you might have seen the news story about my tweet regarding Ben Shapiro and his love of AR-15s. Big round of applause for the clever detectives who pointed out that technically, a few ranchers and animal control people did own these guns before 2004. What? Clever detectives? It's called knowing the most basic facts about the subject you're discussing. Since we're the ones defending our rights, it's on us to know what we're talking about. And it's clear that you don't. You can tell that she's used to just repeating whatever propaganda she's fed on the teleprompter. And since we're all big fans of math, Lady, you're scaring us. Here are more numbers that seem relevant. In 1992, AR-15s composed roughly 21 in every 100 firearms made in the US. By 2020, almost one in five guns made here were AR-15s. I think I just, yeah. <laughs> I'm not even good at math, and even I know you're an embarrassing moron. 21 in 100 is actually slightly bigger than one in five. What the hell are you doing? There are now more than 20 million AR-15s in people's closets and cabinets. Oh, and there's this. In 2023, there's been 560 mass shootings in our country, and we still have two months to go. This is not normal. A world where everyone has AR-15s is just a hell of a lot more dangerous than one where we don't. You idiots! Okay, Gretchen, let's just critically think this out. You said that there were 20 million American AR-15s in closets and cabinets, but 500 mass shootings in 2023 alone, heavily implying there that those were done with AR-15s. Even if every single one of these mass shootings was done with an AR-15, it would still be statistically insignificant. But those aren't shootings carried out with AR-15s. What she doesn't tell you, most likely because she's too ignorant to know, is that the vast majority of these shootings are A, done with handguns, and B, gang-related and done with illegal handguns. AR-15 15s are just one style of rifle, which are just another kind of gun. A world without AR-15s would just be a world with some other kind of weapon. That board with the nail in it may have defeated us, but the humans won't stop there. They'll make bigger boards and bigger nails. Soon they will make a board with a nail so big it will destroy them all. And quite frankly, I think if everyone had one, the world would probably be safer. Nut jobs are so quick to pull a gun if they knew that literally every single person had one. Woo! Anyway, just a phenomenally stupid showing by Gretchen here. It's just crazy to see her say these things after years of being a right-wing conservative host on Fox News. 
It just goes to show you that these people are chameleons and they'll say whatever the highest bidder pays them to say. All right, folks, that's all I have for that one. I appreciate you watching and I hope you enjoyed it. See you on the next one.